Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, Hard Mode 10% Science Mode. In this video, we still have some science left over on Kerbin that we need to go ahead and find. The problem is, is that most of the science is pretty much taken up around the Kerbal Space Center, so that means whatever science is left over is far away. And while yes, I could build a rocket to hopscotch over there real quick, the likelihood of me landing on the exact spot that I need to be on is, well, it's bad. It's just bad, okay? So what happens when you need to get an exact area or exact spot that's far away? Well, you fly there. But the problem with flying is that we only got one type of jet engine. It is the meek, it is the beautiful, tiny little, very low-tech Juno engine. Not very powerful, but it does sip on fuel. I'll give it that. It's, it's, it's very sippy. It loves to sip. Now, could I have built a very small little aircraft? Yes, I could have. It, it could have had plenty of fuel on it and flown all the way there and back. Sure. However, I like playing realistically. So for me, traveling halfway around the world in a small little Cessna-like plane was... It just didn't feel right. I wanted the Kerbals to be able to move around, have a bath bathrooms, you know, sit down and eat or just stretch out. So I opted to build a large, well, large in this case because of our technology is so damn low, a type of large passenger science VTOL. Why has it got to be VTOL, you might ask? Well, because where we are going, where we are going, there are no roads. <laughs> <clears throat> there are no landing pads. There are no... There are, there's nothing. And while, yes, KSP is infamous for being able to land anywhere as long as you're slow and the pathway is flat-ish, you're fine. I didn't really know what the terrain was going to look like, really. So I opted for VTOL because that's the safest bet, right? Right? Okay. Now, if the first craft that we built that was VTOL took about four engines to get off the ground, let alone two more to go forward for a total of six jet engines, I would prepare myself for how many engines this monstrosity would take. I would find out that it would be approximately double everything for a grand whopping total of almost 12 Juno jet engines. Now with all this extra weight and fuel, we are definitely going to need some lift on this bad boy, so I opted for a very large wing kind of body craft. Sort of took inspiration from the B-2 bomber. So after some testing and some finalization of the vehicle, I found out that the actual landing gears that we have, the crunchy ones, the go-kart landing gears, the freaking shopping cart landing gears, they were a no-go. <clears throat> Now, the reason why they were a no-go was because of the simple fact that, yes, they might have been able to keep the vehicle on the landing pad or keep the vehicle on the runway when it's on the ground, but when it came time to landing the VTOL craft gently on the ground, these things would crush under their own weight. Now, yes, there was some times that I was very careful, super, super careful, and landed just right to where they didn't have to pop, but that wasn't all the time. Normally, they would always pop, so... I opted for the tried and true girder segment. Girder segments are a piece of, or a part that you get in the game very, very early on, and they are very high tolerance impact. They make for great landing legs and landing gears early on in the game. Plus, if you point them in a, in, in a certain direction, they'll, they won't create that much drag during flight, so win-win. Now, yes, there were some times where this thing would crash and I would hold my breath, turn blue, and hopefully my heart restarted after that. But thankfully, nobody died, which tells me that this craft is pretty tough. Yeah, it's, it's pretty tough. I mean, then again, I wasn't really going that fast to begin with. It was still pretty tough. Now, there was two missions, two part mission. The first part was to fly all the way over there and get Badland Science on the ground. And then the second part was to fly all over there and get Badland Science splashdown data stuff. Yeah.
Now, of course, these missions would take forever. So, unless I'm doing something that's worth anything anymore, I'm not gonna be pulling these kinds of missions. I think I got like three science out of every mission, which in hard mode, where it's 10% science mode, which is good, it's just not worth it. So yes, I'm sure that there are many other places on Kerbin that have a handful of science left over from what we've been able to mine out. But until our technology gets so good that we can just zip there and grab it, I'm not gonna play this. Play this. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna play. I am not gonna play this game where where you travel for an hour one way ticket. And I don't have time for it. Now, if I was to do a mission to Mars, I mean uh, Duna, that I know that would take a few hours. So yeah, I mean that would be worth it because by time you come back you'd have at least 50 science am i right 10 percent? i don't know but even though it took a while to get there and back i will say that thanks to all of the beautiful mods that i have downloaded which you can find in the description below but you're gonna have to really look for it because right now youtube is 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 mangling all of my descriptions for some reason so with a little bit of searching you'll be able to find the mods that i use um they're all there but i'm gonna have to find something either i either i put like a symbol in front of them or something because every time i well i made a video of this not too long ago every time i make a nice pretty column in the damn thing it and i hit save it just turns to gobbledygook i've tried everybody's i've tried everyone's tactic to fix it and i might be doing something wrong I'm still working on it because this this was never a never a thing this was never a thing until recently so until i can fix the descriptions gobbledygook thing the information is there you're just gonna have to dig for it sorry yeah but the the trip there and back was quite relaxing actually it's very beautiful but that's all the time i have for today thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel if you liked what you saw please consider liking the video and if you loved what you saw please consider subscribing never do that again also have a membership program if you become a member you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name pretty cool check it out and that bell notification but anyway that is it for today love you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video bye for now bye bye